Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. I'm coming at you with yet another video about the death of affiliate marketing, but this one's gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna bring actual data to the table. I'm gonna talk about an article that has come out from one of the legends, Charles No, who was well known in the Stack That Money community uh, forum, and he was an affiliate marketer full time for many years. He has an excellent blog at charlesno.com recently posted an article is affiliate marketing dead in 2021 my honest thoughts and i want to go through that because i too am an affiliate marketer full-time left a corporate job in 2015 to do it full-time in fact and i believe the future is great for affiliate marketing i'm going to bring some data i'm going to talk about some of the points he makes which are excellent points and he also offers a lot of great insight on other options that you might want to try if you're considering affiliate marketing. So I highly recommend you check out his post and I'm going to go in and talk about it here with my own take on what he's been saying. So if you like this type of video, please be sure to like my channel, subscribe, all that fun stuff and let's get into it. Okay, so before we dive into this video, I want to first talk about the type of affiliate marketing we're going to be referring to here today and what you're actually looking to do yourself, maybe it falls into what we're gonna talk about here. Um, basically, there's two main strategies of affiliate marketing that we talk about. Um, and one of them is content marketing where you create content such as what I'm doing right now, kind of similar to what Charles is doing on his blog, where we create content, people come to our content and now and then if we have a product that we use or a service, we will recommend it using an affiliate link. Many people do that similar to Amazon affiliates, anyone running product specific niche websites. These are content driven. So you create content and you earn money when people visit your content. That type of affiliate marketing is pretty much never going to die, okay? As long as you create real good content online and you talk to your audience and you feed them information they want, they will always come back and look at your content, okay? Or they'll find it in the search engines or people will share it and that is just never going to die, okay? In fact, there's statistics showing that more and more people are online, more searches, everything is going up, okay? Now what Charles is more referring to on his blog post here is the other side of affiliate marketing, what you see in most forums, the paid traffic side of it, where we're creating funnels, we're creating campaigns around app installs or lead generation campaigns. We're trying to sell an e-com product that's an affiliate product, um, not your typical content stuff. We're talking about buying traffic, sending it to a landing page and going for the direct sale or the direct lead. And we're trying to make money instantly, okay? That is the other side of affiliate marketing. Now, both of those concepts are talked about on this channel. So if you wanna check out other videos, I've talked about this many, many times. And we also have some free training at powerhouseaffiliate.com, okay? So let's get into the article. Let's talk first about you know a couple of things that he, he went through here. Um, obviously, the rules and regulations are getting stronger, especially on traffic sources like Facebook and Google. As an affiliate, you must follow the rules. In fact, you almost have to now make it look like you are not an affiliate. That is why 90% of people will probably fail at this side of affiliate marketing because there's so many things you have to be doing. So that is one thing, he's, he's completely right. The rules and regulations have gotten stronger. Competition is fierce, but um, at the same time, I'm gonna argue that the cost per click has not drastically gone up. The cost per click on Facebook is actually pretty much stable for the last year for me. Google has been stable for three to five years. There's just so many other traffic sources coming up that even though there's tons of competition, we have TikTok, we have Pinterest, we have Snap ads, we have uh, all the native ad platforms. So Facebook might be the be all end all for some people, but a lot of people are looking for alternatives. I've done a complete video on Facebook alternatives. There's tons of traffic out there, okay? So really, although the competition is high, that is not a, a deciding factor for me to, to move on to other things because really, no matter what you're doing online, there's gonna be competition to get those clicks, whether you own a product or you're an affiliate. Another thing that he mentioned here is that affiliate networks have been quietly going out of business now this is truly a fact there's tons of major networks over the years that have collapsed in fact for a decade straight 
at least one or two major CPA networks. So these are the networks that house offers like lead submits, your CPA cost per action performance marketing network. They come in, they're, they're massive networks. So these aren't just your little, uh, you know, one man pony shows that you see where some guy decides to create a network because he was a great affiliate and he has a few people that want to follow him. Um, these are major networks that have collapsed. Now there's many reasons for this and I'm not going to try and get into the reasons why many of them collapsed, but I'm going to talk mainly about the FTC and the way affiliates are promoting products. Okay. Now big, networks went down hard when the trial space was going on. We had diet trials, people going on with celebrities on these major news platforms, putting up images of major celebrities losing weight with these pills that actually weren't endorsed at all by these celebs. So some networks got sued, some went out of business, some didn't get paid by the advertisers. The, the industry itself of performance marketing is extremely risky. So if you're going into this business, on the paid traffic side, and you're gonna start investing your own money in paid traffic, be sure you understand how the money flows, okay? It goes from the person that owns the product through a network to you. Now, I've done a full video on this, check it out, I'll pop it up, but the reality here is the networks need to offer you value. If they don't offer you value, why are you going through a third party in this relationship of you versus the advertiser, okay? And that is why many networks have been collapsing is because of the fact that they offer no value, they're brokering offers from other networks and they don't really have any moat, okay? Now, Charles talks about moat in his article here. We're gonna talk about that here briefly in, in, a, in a second, but again, I've done a video on moat for affiliates but networks themselves really, really need to step up, especially in the 20s. The 20s, that sounds so weird saying the 20s. But really, networks have become this thing where if you don't own the offer, if you don't have direct access to these exclusive offers, um, then there's really no there's no need for you as a network, okay? So you need to offer something that you, no one else has. Now, one of the other things uh, stated in this article uh, was the fact that there is a lot less activity or a lot less talk about affiliate marketing. And this is true, uh, I think, in the paid forums, uh, like STM. If you go in there, you'll notice the, the amount of stuff happening there has actually dwindled quite a bit over the last two or three years. Um, I don't think this indicates that affiliate marketing is, is dropping by any means. If you, if you actually look at some of the data from uh, statista.com, if you go there, check it out, you'll see that um, in 2022, it's expected that eight, uh, in the US alone, over 8.2 billion spent on affiliate marketing. This is 10 uh, or three times more than it was 10 years ago. So it's only going up, the charts are going up. Um, so I, th I think we can't really measure the, the impact of affiliate marketing based on the amount of activity we're seeing in paid traffic forums, okay? Um, globally, in 2017, there was 13 billion in spent on affiliate marketing, okay? And of course, that number is going up every single year. Uh, that was the latest data I found. Um, looking at some of the, uh, the data online through places like statista.com, okay? Okay, so moving down in the article, we talk about the rise of e-commerce and he's very clear that e-commerce is taking over and I agree, a lot of people that I know personally are in fact moving to the e-commerce model where you build a product like a Shopify store and you start branding and building your own brand, okay? This is excellent for people that wanna build an asset online, you're building uh, something that you own and you can sell and you own the data. I've talked about that in uh, another video. In fact, I'll pop it up where you own the data and you own and you build an asset, okay? This is great for people that are motivated and want to go out and just start building a business. But in reality, if you don't understand traffic and you don't know how to get traffic, then starting out building this empire of a store and then trying to buy traffic or get people to come to your store after the fact without actually testing first with affiliate marketing, then you're setting yourself up for a big waste of time, okay? That is why affiliate marketing, many people start with affiliate marketing and then they move on to the bigger and better things like owning your own business where you own all of the data and all of that kind of thing. Owning a product is a great thing. You should actually be looking at that as you start in affiliate marketing. It's like I said, a stepping stone to bigger things, okay? So you wanna learn the aspects of digital spend. That is what we're doing here with affiliate marketing. We're trying to spend money 
make profit without having to build an empire business first, okay? That is just one way of doing it. If you wanna build an empire business from the start, then by all means, I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things. Now he goes on to say that affiliates must profit on the first contact, there's no lifetime customer value, you don't own any data, and you're dealing with a world that started hating affiliates, okay? So really, uh, this can be, there's a lot of things you could do here that can help. Obviously, list building is one of them. In, in fact, in one of his courses that he sells, um, he talks about list building, building the a list first using Facebook ads. This was one of his training courses where you build a list, you own the actual emails, and then you start sending emails to these people in the back end doing more aggressive advertising. Now, we've done a full case study on this, by the way, inside powerhouseaffiliate.com where we've done the exact same strategy. And yes, in fact, it works. You own the data. You can build a mini funnel your, uh, you know, to get people into your affiliate funnel, and then you're selling products on the back end. So you can do this, but really, um, there are more advantages if you own the entire funnel right to the checkout page. Now, the rules and regulations and bans have become more prevalent. However, it's not just for affiliates. Product owners themselves are also seeing some serious bans happening on Facebook. Even e-commerce stores are getting banned on Facebook. That is why there are so many different alternatives that people are looking at, okay? You, you have YouTube, okay? People haven't even started to really tap into YouTube um, and, and using that as a platform to start selling uh, performance marketing based products like the CPA offers okay so there are ways to do this with YouTube you have TikTok again all these other ones I mentioned earlier so I think this isn't just specific to affiliates when it comes to the bans and regulations now another point here was the monkey see monkey do mentality this is what affiliate marketers do they rip and run okay this is one of those things that I've talked about in depth in the moat video if you check it out above um, I'll pop it up and you can actually check it out. Talked about this subject. What we're doing here is we're trying to come up with our own moat as affiliates, okay? Whether it means creating a ton of great content, building your own list, building your data sets, whatever it is, you cannot just start and think that you can rip somebody's landing page, start running traffic to it and start making a ton of money. That is not gonna happen. Pretty much 99% of you that try that are going to fail. There are so many other factors at play. There's so many other split tests going on and behind the scenes for professional affiliate marketers, okay? So if you're gonna try and come in and rip somebody's pages, it's just not gonna work. Now, if you find an affiliate campaign that actually works and you're converting and you're scared about the other uh, factors at play where people are going to be ripping and running and looking at your stuff then maybe perhaps consider building your own product line and selling your own products i have actually done this myself with affiliate products that i've ran in the past okay and it works it takes a ton of work though so if you want to do all that work and try and you know solidify your business that way then then obviously that is a great way to go and you can sell it later which in fact i did myself i sold that business later on and moved on to more just straight up affiliate marketing okay i just did did not like the headache of doing all that extra work. So there are many alternatives out there and I think that he gives some excellent alternatives here. Uh, Bitcoin is obviously skyrocketing. The stock market is a way that you can, you know, obviously look into investing in stocks, creating an app. All of these things are excellent ideas. I'm not going to, you know, go on and on about these. Um, obviously, there are tons of alternatives out there. That's what makes the question of is affiliate marketing right for me so difficult because there are so many alternatives out there? The exit value is a very good point here. You will have nothing if you're just trying to sell an affiliate campaign. I've talked about that before. If you're trying to sell somebody an affiliate campaign, you will not get any money for it uh, because nobody cares. They, unless you have an email list, a bunch of data, um, then that's all you can sell as an affiliate, okay? Unless you have a website that has a ton of traffic coming to it and you've built content over the years and nobody wants to spend all that time building all that content around this product or service, then you have something to sell, okay? That is why content marketing is the way to go, especially uh, if you're gonna be doing this long-term, uh, I think, okay? If you wanna get in and try and make a ton of fast money, then obviously the paid traffic media buying strategy is the way to go as well. But really, you should consider content marketing if you're looking to, buy, to build something that you can sell 
later, okay? Um, so yeah, if you're starting out, it's very easy to get sucked into these training courses that uh, people are selling that have nothing to do with how you actually buy traffic online as an affiliate. So without rambling on too much more about this, um, I really think uh, you need to look at this from both sides. Understand first, what type of affiliate marketing do you want to do? If it's content marketing, it's never going to die, okay? Um, and if it's paid traffic, it's never gonna die either, but it's going to require a lot more effort in keeping up with the times. Understanding how rules are changing, um, you need to understand how to set up your funnel so that you can track every part of the way as an affiliate, collecting your own data, using that data on platforms the way they're supposed to be, that the data is supposed to be used, okay? So let's look at some more statistics quickly to end this video. Let's look here at one of the sites I found called Supermetrics. Affiliate marketing is a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? The trend is going up. We have 81% of advertisers and 84% of publishers in the U.S. have turned to affiliate marketing. Now you can go on to read the report done by Rakuten, 81% of advertisers. Uh, search interest is going up. This would have a lot to do with people being at home right now looking for ways to make money. So I, I think that's why we're seeing a big spike here in the last couple years. So there are massive networks out there. The ones that Charles was referring to are more uh, boutique style or you know the CPA networks that are specific to app installs, lead generation campaigns, trial offers, e-commerce offers, all of these networks out there that you know you sometimes see every year since i began you're going to see two or three major platforms go under okay and that is more to do with the mechanics of how the money is being flowed through that system uh, 85 percent of online shoppers check google i run google ads still as an affiliate marketer i've done a complete training on google ads okay inside powerhouse affiliate so you can see exactly how i do that as an affiliate it's one great traffic source that is an alternative to facebook now again there's tons of rules on google that you need to follow these are the types of offers that people are promoting as affiliates the top five categories are computer and electronics, clothing, online services, accessories, beauty, business, marketing. All of these are the top categories. Lots of good information here showing that affiliate marketing is growing. In fact, still growing and there's still a lot of money to be made. Again, there's a whole bunch of information here. I'm not going to ramble on, but you can see here, if you do some more research on the statistics, you'll see that affiliate marketing is in fact growing. There is a lot of money to be made. You just have to understand which direction you want to go.